time, we're hearing from one of the keepers after she was attacked by a tiger. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jace Mills. And I'm Brooke Huntington. That story put Topeka in the national spotlight. The keeper still in the cage? Yes, 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 yes. And there's no way to get him out safely? I don't know. I don't know. The, we just got some staff over here now, but I know we're going to need an ambulance. That was the April 911 call from a visitor at the Topeka Zoo. Kristen Hayden Ortega went into the outdoor area of the zoo's tiger enclosure to clean it. Investigators found the doors leading inside of that enclosure were left unlocked, and then Sanjeev the tiger attacked. And in a story you'll only see on KSNT News, Raina Garcia tells us how Ortega is recovering and what's ahead. She's live in West Topeka now. Raina. Brooke Jace, after that scary experience, Kristen was able to return to work here at the Topeka Zoo just a couple months later, but she was still working to recover. The University of Kansas Hospital in Kansas City, where Kristen underwent surgery for her injuries, documented her journey. And now for the first time, we get to hear how she was able to get through it. What started as a normal Saturday morning in April at the Topeka Zoo turned into a day zookeepers hope to never experience. Keeper still in the cage? Yes, 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 yes. And there's no way to get him out safely? I don't know. I don't know. The, we just got some staff over here now, but I know we're going to need an ambulance. Zookeeper Kristen Hayden Ortega was attacked by Sanjeev, a tiger she had worked with regularly. I feel like I stayed calm. <laughs> stayed calm. I mean, like what I actually did and what I think I actually did are, might be two different things. The attack had gone on for a couple minutes, all while a few zoo visitors witnessed it behind the glass. Sanjeev finally stopped once Kristen's fellow zookeepers were able to lure him away. I knew when he let go, and I knew when he walked away to go inside, and I knew when the members of the gun team arrived, um, and I knew when the other staff had arrived first, you know, to try and get him inside. So all of those things just kind of was just one more thing that was like, oh, okay, either way, you know, I'm going to be okay. Kristen suffered injuries to her left arm, neck, back, and head. She injured the nerves coming out of her neck called the brachial plexus, so her arm is paralyzed except for use of her hand, basically, and a little bit of extension of her elbow. Doctors were able to operate on Kristen to help her regain movement in her arm. While it hasn't been an easy recovery, Kristen says her team at the Topeka Zoo and getting back to doing what she loves have served as motivation to keep going. They did exactly what we trained for, and you hope you never have to do, but, you know, they saved my life. So, and they saved his life. <laughs> so, and you know, it's, it's just one of those things that, you know, you want to try and do what you can to get back to it and get back to your life. Kristen is still in a sling as she tries to get that arm back up to full strength as much as possible. But you know, despite the attack, Kristen says she has no hard feelings towards the tiger's Sanjeev and even describes him as a great cat and easy to work with. Live in West Topeka, Raina Garcia, KSNT News. All right, Raina, thank you. We're